Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blow. Good morning. As you know from a previous episode, my 1995 Acura Legend L series um, car had a terrible smell and odor, like a dead rat or something. Every time you turn on the vents for fresh air or the AC. So what I did was I opened the hood, blew out all the leaves, branches, acorns, and crap that was right along the uh, bottom of the windshield, gathered over the fall, whatever, blew out all the leaves, and I sprayed Lysol, 30 second cleaner, which gets rid of algae, mildew, mold, and all that, and super clean degreaser to try to clean the evaporator back there uh, that led from the condenser and maybe a lot of mildew and mold built up on that area causing the smell. That was the first thing that I researched that people said was the cure to the problem of the odor. So after I did that, it was 80% better. But even now, when you get back into a car, especially when it's super hot, and it's been baking all day, you still get a little bit of an odor. It's not as, you know, drastic as prior to, but it's still a little bit of odor there. So some subscribers told me, hey, Henry, you got to check and see if it has a cabin air filter. And I said, yeah, I thought about that, but I wanted to do the primary thing first to see if that cured the problem. Well, while we got most of it done, I ordered a cabin air filter for this car. There's actually a couple of videos online on YouTube that shows you how to remove it. It's kind of a pain. You got to remove like the bottom part of the glove compartment, a couple of panels to remove the uh, air filter. So I bought this air filter on eBay. Doesn't look like the one in the video, but this is the right part number. So I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna take it apart, see if I can get the cabin air filter out, replace it with the new one, and maybe that'll solve our odor problem once and for all. Okay, so I've removed the bolts under here to remove that cover. And now I've got to remove the glove compartment. And honestly, this does not look anything like the video that I saw. <laughs> it never does. I'm going to have to figure out where the air cleaner is here. So I went back and watched the video. Had to remove these two things. And this thing over here comes out. Why would they put something like that in there? so that nobody can get to it, except for a Acura technician, which means you'd have to take it in and pay for it. That's the whole scam, see? They hide things in places where you need to get to, but they make it so hard so that you can't do it, so that you have to go and spend money at the dealership to do it. Believe this is it, and It is dirty and wet. Ugh. But it's not that, you know, not that dirty. And it doesn't really smell. There is a lot of crap that fell out of it. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in there. Gonna have to suck that stuff out with like a vacuum cleaner or something. I'm gonna use one of my review products. This Allegiant Mini Mini Cyclone Vacuum Cleaner. Perfect size to just get in there and suck out all the crap.
curtains. There is crap in here, but none of it smells. Really not much of a filter, you know what I mean? You can see through it. I guess it's better than this one because you could really see through that. And this really doesn't keep out a lot of pathogens or stuff. It just keeps out like leaves and stuff, right? This is actually better microns, probably keep out some stuff, but it probably won't keep out any odors. So I question whether or not this was the whole thing, you know, this was the deal. Okay, I'll just put everything back. Hopefully this was it, but I don't think so. Because it doesn't stink at all. Put it all together, nice and clean. Well, there you go. Clean the windows on the inside, it looks great. Didn't really make a difference in the smell on the inside. Didn't change. I mean, it's 80% better. Maybe I just made it 85% better. But for those who yelled at me and said, Henry, you gotta change the cabin air filter before you do that. You were wrong, wrong, wrong. That cabin air filter just keeps out big pieces of like leaves and twigs and stuff. You saw that filter. It doesn't keep out smell. You could see through it. You could put like your fingers through it, you know? Anyway, that's how you change your cabin air filter for your 1995 Acura Legend L sedan. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey y'all, it's Kylie here and we'll see you next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.